So this is a test uh, of my microphone wireless system. This is only a test. I'm about to uh, make some dinner and uh, trying out a new mic setup. See how it goes. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Tonight I'm just gonna make dinner and, uh, and then try and explain where I've been for the last four months and why I haven't been posting any content. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so tonight we are having a, one of my favorite, my specialties and my favorite things. Don't currently have a fridge on board, so all of my fresh things I buy like um, during the day when I'm out and about and I bring it back home, I, I have very little food on the boat. Tonight we're gonna have some vegetables. We got broccoli. We got some ginormous Brussels sprouts, some carrots, and a couple spuds. It's uh, too much for one meal, um, but I find that like when I'm doing vegetables like this, it's better to make two meals instead of one, because then you're always gonna have leftovers, so you might as well like plan on having leftovers and use it for tomorrow. I'll make some sort of soup or something, I'm not sure. But anyway, first step is to hack up all the vegetables and throw them into some boiling water. So I had one guy ask me on, uh, on a YouTube comment about the solar arch that I put up and was it uh, holding up and everything and the answer to that question is yeah it's holding up really well if you can see I don't know if you can see but um, it's uh, kept its shape and I've had a few like in the last I'd say four months I've had a few gale force winds here in the marina um, and it's been solid. It does wiggle around a little bit but it really doesn't bother me. It's not noticeable. Um, I think it might be a benefit actually um, that it kind of gives with the wind just a little bit. So it's working out really well. There is some corrosion on the um, aluminum brackets that I purchased on Amazon. Um, so they're probably not great for salt, salty conditions like this, um, but whatever, they're corroded. <laughs> it's no big deal. It's working out pretty good. And the, um, the larger gas bottle that I have for the stove and the heater has been working great. It's a five gallon propane tank and it's been, it'll last me now like a month. The smaller ones that I had were a gallon and a half propane and they would last me like a weekend. So. Um, this is much better, and uh, I like it. Actually, I messed up. I don't want to put the broccoli in first. I want to put in those guys first and do the broccoli last separately because the broccoli is not going to go in the oven. I just, like, reach in there and grab it. <laughs> Never mind hygiene. just want to point out that I really don't take... <laughs> I probably should be like washing all this stuff or whatever, but the way I see it is uh, it's going to go in boiling water for like, I don't know how many minutes, five minutes, three minutes, five minutes, and then it's going to go in an oven for like an hour. So anything that's still alive on this thing um, is going to die before I eat it. So I feel like not washing it is the way to go. Same thing with the carrots. I'm not quite sure you don't have the other carrot peelers or whatever. I never peel my carrots. I don't get it. I mean, you're gonna boil it and cook it. So, I mean, if you're eating it raw, yes, but I don't know. I've heard that uh, most of the nutrients is in the outer layer anyway. So you're just, you're just peeling off all the goodness. Check out the size of these Brussels sprouts. They're huge. This is the biggest Brussels sprout I've ever seen in my life. Feels more like a cabbage than a Brussels sprout. Okay, so we just let that come to a boil and uh, basically parboil some vegetables for like three to five minutes. And then we're gonna bake something. I think I will have a beer. And I got these little measuring glasses a while ago at the grocery store. They were like three bucks each. And it's just a little glass measuring cup with an Anchor logo on it that says Anchor Hawking, whatever that means. 
and I just thought it was very nautical and that I wanted them on my boat. So I have two of them and I use them as drinking glasses because they're, they're a little small, but I kind of like not guzzling. If I'm going to have a beer, which is what I'm going to do right now, I enjoy cracking the beer, pouring it into my tiny glass so that I can inspect the color and sip on it daintily. Anyway, so it's been like four months since I posted a video. It's been a rough four months, mainly because of work, you know, lack of work. I work in the field of film and video. I do freelance uh, video shooting and editing for various clients and uh, things have been very, very slow. So um, I really just didn't have enough money to buy the kinds of materials that I needed to keep doing projects on the boat. I was also waiting on the paperwork for the actual boat itself, um, which I had to pay a bunch of fees for. And uh, now I'm waiting on uh, getting the insurance all figured out. So I haven't been able to really use the boat uh, out on the water. I've been using it as a wonderful little apartment down here on the ocean, which has been nice, but uh, I haven't been able to go sailing at all. And it's been very frustrating. Um, it's, it's just lack of money. I, I really, I run the risk of losing everything if something bad goes wrong out there. So I decide not to go and uh, I feel very stuck. But during this time, I've been looking for work and I'm happy to say that um, just recently in the last 48 hours or so, uh, a couple things have pop popped up and um, it looks like the future is a little brighter and that I can kind of get back to um, my, my Captain blog series. Everything I've read and researched um, since I've been taking a break from making content is that the best way to really engage with an audience is to make uh, like a regularly scheduled content. So not just like whenever you feel like it, but like every if you're gonna if you're gonna do it, do it every week. Tell tell your audience what week what day of the week that you're gonna do it, and and be consistent. Um, so it's not about a per project thing. It's actually more like a video vlog, a, a log of uh, of my life. The vegetables. are just about to boil. The long and short of it is that I'm going to, um, not only am I gonna recommit myself to making content, but I'm gonna commit myself to making a different kind of content that, that is more um, vlog-like in nature. So every week I wanna post a new video um, about my experience here in my little boat, which by the way, the paperwork finally came through I can now legally call her by her name, which is Dagny. So, in case you were wondering what my boat's called, she's called Dagny. What else while I'm waiting for my vegetables to cook? I hope everybody's had a good summer. Mine has been very difficult. I think a lot of people are really having a difficult time right now. Um, you can kind of feel it when you just go out and about. It's everybody's on edge. Everybody is like uh, nervous about the impending winter. Um, work is scarce. It feels like with all the people that I talk to and everything, it just times are tough all around. So I'm grateful that I have some vegetables to cook up. I'm grateful that I have a nice boat to cook them up in, especially this range. I'm really enjoying the stove in this boat is fantastic. The little oven, we're gonna use that in a second. So it's not all doom and gloom. Oh, and I got a haircut recently. Short. I've, I've, I mean, I should, have, I should have got a picture of me before getting the haircut, but uh, I forgot. <laughs> it, was, it was really long. I look like a, a Muppet. All right, that's four and a half minutes. That's probably good. I gotta drain that off. I believe they call it parboiling vegetables. Ooh. 
I call it washing vegetables. <laughs> they are now clean. Same brand, Anchor Hawking. I got them at the grocery store. I just wanted to say I really, really like these and uh, they're very useful as plates on a boat because they have, it's a pie, it's a pie plate, first of all. It's not, nothing special or new. Um, but it's got edges, so like your stuff doesn't fall off the side of your plate, <laughs> which is really, really great. It's got little handles, which is nice. And uh, the most important thing, I think, is that you can use them to bake in, which is what I'm gonna do now. Okay, so I like to add a little bit of oil. Maybe a lot of oil and some salts and spices. Garlic salt. So salty or garlic, salt, salty garlic. Call it gar garlic, salt and pepper. That's it on the pepper. No more pepper. I like to mix it all together because there's some Oil at the bottom. All right. And then, the secret ingredient. Beef pot pie. They're cheap. They're cheap. That's it. It's basically like a little pastry with some gravy in there. And um, when I'm roasting vegetables, it's nice to roast up one of these, or actually two of these, and it kind of goes on top, and it becomes a nice <laughs> beef pot pie slash vegetable platter, half of which I will not eat, and I'll save for tomorrow, and we'll make something else out of it. Cheers. They're like... Uh, they're like just a little bit bigger than those little tasters that you get at when you when you visit a brewery. I don't know, it's just a nice way to have beer. I'm just letting the oven get up to temperature, but as you can see, I just placed those uh, beef pot pies on top of the vegetables, which are covered in oil and salt. We're gonna put that in the oven for 45 minutes, and it's gonna be delicious. It's so awkward talking to you. It really is. It's like pulling teeth, you know? In my mind, I'm, I've got all kinds of things that I wanna talk about, you know? I have this ongoing conversation in my head with all of you. <laughs> and then when I turn the camera on, I can't think of a thing to say. This is gonna be the problem, the ongoing problem of creating content on a weekly basis. Because to be frank, on a weekly basis, at least at the moment, there's not a whole lot happening. It's just like basic survival, <clears throat> trying to make money, try to survive. And that's not exactly what people I think tune into, like sailing vlogs, blogs. That's not what they're interested in seeing, but Everything that I've read and heard from other people who are doing this sort of thing and are successful at it is to be authentic and to focus on um, the big struggles that you're having and, not, and not, not try to, you know, make a big show out of it or whatever, but to, to actually just document your life and, and what you're going through. So that's what I'm gonna try and do. And some of it is gonna be painfully boring. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, as far as the boat is concerned, what I want to do with the boat, um, obviously I want, to, I want to sail off into the sunset and be free and go wherever I want to go and, and live that life. That's what I want. But uh, in order to get there, I'm going to have to do a few things first, which is one, learn how to sail. <laughs> like, you know, like learn how to be confident in your sailing and your and your decisions that's that's the big one right now for me is like just not feeling safe on my own and um so i gotta conquer that the next thing i gotta conquer is uh i gotta get the bottom job i gotta i gotta get the bottom done on the boat which means i gotta sail from bodega bay which is where i'm at right now down through the golden gate into san francisco bay and then uh 
and then there's several choices down there where I can actually get the boat taken out to, to, to get the work done that I need done. So she needs a bottom job badly and, um, and I gotta figure out how to sail this thing in the Pacific Ocean <laughs> uh, through the Golden Gate Bridge, you know. So those, those are the, the immediate uh, plans at the, at the moment. I'd like to talk more about like which islands I'd like to sail to and, and how amazing that would be. But ultimately right now it's focusing on gotta get the bottom painted and, uh, and keep this thing, <laughs> keep this boat floating while I try to make some money so that I can pay for all this stuff. That's the plan. Uh, I think we're hot enough. Gonna go ahead and put my uh, pot pie vegetable creation in the oven. And we're gonna leave it there for like at least 45 minutes. So I'll check back with you later. Okay, we're gonna now add the broccoli that we took out of the water. Boil it up separately, gets like five minutes. Look at that, just listen. Here, yeah, I can. That is the sound of a roast vegetable dinner with beef pot pies. that and then we add our broccoli on top of that and we have oh, come with me. a huge plate of food that I will not be able to finish but I will be able to reheat tomorrow and make a delicious something out of whatever I don't eat, so time to dig in. So next I sit down, I tune in to my one of my favorite YouTube sailing vlogs. And I eat my meal but before I watch my video I'd like to say thanks for watching this video and um, you know like subscribe and if you're interested in helping out check out my patreon page thanks again for watching